you sent for me. I hope I bring you a good conclusion to your victory. I have a message for you from the consul, your father. I honor him. As you may honor yourself. You have been made a citizen of Rome. Do you say nothing to this? I have just come from a valley of stone where my mother and sister live what's left of their lives. By Rome's will, lepers, outcasts without hope. I have heard this. There was great blame there, very deeply regretted. Their flesh is mine, my Lord Pilate. It already carries Rome's mark. Messala is dead. What he did has had its way with him. The deed was not Messala's. I knew him well before the cruelty of Rome spread in his blood. Rome destroyed Messala as surely as Rome has destroyed my family. Where there is greatness, great government or power, even great feeling or compassion, error also is great. We progress and mature by fault, but Rome has said she is ready to join your life to hers in a great future. There are other voices. The voice, for instance, of Arius waiting for you in Rome. He would tell you, if I may speak in his place, not to crucify yourself on a shadow such as old resentment or impossible loyalties. Perfect freedom has no existence. The grown man knows the world he lives in. And for the present, the world is Rome. Young Arius, I am sure, will choose it. I am Judah Ben-Hur. I crossed this floor and spoke in friendship as I would speak to Arius. But when I go up those stairs, I become the hand of Caesar, ready to crush all those who challenge his authority. There are too many small men of envy and ambition who try to disrupt the government of Rome. You have become the victor and hero to these people. They look to you, their one true God, as I called you. If you stay here, you will find yourself part of this tragedy. I am already part of this tragedy. Return this to Arius. I honor him too well to wear it any longer. Even for the sake of Arius, I cannot protect you from personal disaster if you stay here. You are too great a danger. Leave Judea. You have my warning. 